We are set to go. Carolina at 15 and three. The Demon Deacons at 13 and five. Opening tip, batted out. We've got a good crew here. Big guy Reed will hand off to Boopy Miller. Salas handling it here. 18 points a game, and he'll knock down the first one. Ingram kicks it out. Ryan off the fake, a two-pointer coming. And knocks that down. North Carolina on the board. Smart play by Cormac Ryan. And one of the things you don't see is anyone from Wake Forest going to the glass. That's how much they fear North Carolina in transition. Davis with a quick step on the reverse. Talk about a quick step. Yeah, and too easy to allow the ACC's leading scorer to get an easy bucket like that to get his confidence going. You want to make R.J. Davis work for everything. Salas working hard in the paint. He's got four quick points. But that's just an example, once again, of the energy and effort paid on the defensive end of the floor. R.J. Davis shoveling that one up there, and he's got four. All the other things to help his team win, and eventually shots will fall. He's 25 years old. Oh. Dallas finds the lane to the left hand for two. These two guys are special talents. Davis, beautiful pass and a slam by Washington. So that will help the shooting percentages. But Obi, that's where R.J. Davis is much improved this year. Everybody talks about the scoring numbers. He's always been able to score. He's been much better playmaker this season than he's been in the past. Showing a lot of leadership, too, this Carolina group. Miller gets himself an open look and switches it in. Comes in averaging 17 and also four assists per game. First name Kevin likes to go by Boopy, which is a family nickname that passed down through the ages. Davis going in strong and it rolls in. Uh, I made that. They're going to give twos. Normally contested twos make them tough shots, especially. Let's say they're on the side by Monsanto. Mario Monsanto, they just got him back. He's a very dangerous three-point guy. Fredrickson, tough shot and hits it from three-point distance. And that's one of those ones all you can do is look at him and say, good shot. Pat him on the back and keep going. That was good defense by Taylor Withers. Just great offense. Davis off the window. Very sweetly. He uses the glass so effectively. Because you know, I would say, yeah, I beat her. <laughs> I won that game. Yeah, I count Angel that as a personal win. Yeah. <laughs> right. no. Angel immediately, yes, we did. We did. She and her teammate from Florida State. Dallas leaning in. He's the guy that gets North Carolina into their offense, gets the guys to basketball when they need it, and in the right spot. Ingram wants to work. Got himself some room and banked it in. That's a pretty play. Miller. Cadeau on him. Slams on the brakes. Leans in. Great job by Cadeau to stay home and not commit a foul. And now turns it into a fast break bucket. The job of both ends of the floor defensively coming up with the stop and turning his defense into offense, attacking the body. We mentioned earlier, 84% on the road for them. Leaning in. Off the window. Harrison Ingram who comes in with 13 and 8. Miller with a kick. Here's Carr. No. From three-point land. Long for Baycott. Batted away from him. And a loose ball that'll be scooped up by the Demon Deacons. It's a great play by Hill of getting back in transition. Salas with a jumper. Way short. Rebound stuffed in by Reed. Ingram. Out of the double. Ryan will swing it. Here's Davis for a triple. For 16 bash. Part of that, get a chance to watch basketball in Dickie B's own home. As Wake Forest comes out of timeout, Hildreth with the bucket, 47 to 43. Carolina's caught fire. They made the last six shots. Yeah, and Dickie B, of course, on the call as Marcus Page was able to go high off the glass against Louisville. And the shout out to the late great Stuart Scott, University of North Carolina alum. Representing the Booyah. Hildreth will loft up a long one. And they're just not there tonight for the Demon Deacons. As a team, they hit 39%. Withers, one dribble down. Inside for Washington to finish it. They were making shots. The struggle has been from beyond the three-point. Davis floats it up. Another one. Tricks. He absolutely does, and that's 30. So now we see where he's going tonight. Will there be a new career high for R.J. Davis? Well, they've lost it, got it back, and it'll spin around and roll in. Range looks, the cross, the cross again. The hands up a little bit of hezzy, and then, of course, as much as I hate to say it. Off the dribble, gives it up here for South. Shot clock is down to five for Wake. He's got to get it in the air around Baycott. will spin it in. Now ready to check back in. 
for Hubert Davis. Ingram on the back down, the one-hander. And the courses he's taking here, he doesn't feel like he will be able to finish in one year, but he's such a smart guy. He may actually come back to school as we see RJ with the 33 now, the new career high. Ray Davis with the triple here. And that's the second time we've seen the double crossover. This time we don't see the double cross. But nobody at the moment is playing the caliber of basketball in this conference that North Carolina is. Well, RJ Davis, a career high 33 points OB, but how about Harrison Ingram? Wait a minute. 36 for RJ, forgive me. <laughs> 36. Seven. And RJ Davis just catches shoot, knocking it down. Jayla Washington will check in. And they will knock off Wake Forest and knock the Demon Deacons to five and three in the ACC. As North Carolina stays perfect inside conference play. And they are rocking.